Hello friends, today we're going to read Marguerite's Apple, and this is all about a famous artist. Uh, his name is Marguerite, and his surrealist paintings. So let's see if we can learn some about this. Marguerite's Apple. Rene, Marguerite, so Rene is his first name, was a painter, but Rene could paint. He knew how, but he didn't know what. Because Rene couldn't paint, he couldn't sleep. When he got out of bed in the morning, his canvas was still empty. His canvas was empty, but his head was full, full of ideas and objects and words. But where to start? He dreamed about being a painter. A painter of apples. So we see right here, somebody's painting him and he's painting the apple. He dreamed about being a painter of hats. A painter of apple hats. How silly is that? A painter of butter leaves. Let's see, where's our butter leaf? It's a, like a butterfly. Uh, branch pipes. And spectacle eggs. So what's here? So this matchstick looks like it has hair coming out of it. And this plate, it looks like a piggy made out of bacon. Bacon, how silly is that? All right, let's see it. An egg became a bird when he painted it. Shoes turned into feet. This, the yolk of the egg that turned into a bird. Look at, you got little toesies that came out of the shoe. Ooh. He was a painter of words and things, and sometimes his words described other things. So this right here, this is like an anvil that's usually used to like make swords and that kind of stuff. This says the chair. This leaf is called the mirror, but it kind of looks like a mouth, doesn't it? Uh, this is a cloud and it's called the giant. Oh, look at this silly one. It doesn't have a name to it, but it's fun. Uh, this is a door down here and it says night. Then we got, I think this looks like it's half of a bottle and half bread, and this is called sunlight. Uh, this looks like a pencil that kind of looks rounded out like an umbrella, and this one says nothing. And then on top here, looks like a book that's called tree, and then up here it says the wind and it's just black. How cool is that? So he's very imaginative, it looks like. He was a painter of paintings. So this is a branch with an apple, it says frog. Uh, we got that umbrella with the hat so, called clouds. Uh, oh, this is so funny, it's bread and it has little spectacles. How fun is that? Spectacles are like little glasses. Um, we got a, like a sink handle with the, the water coming out. And this is called umbrella, kind of the opposite, right? Uh, we have like a little keyhole with an eye looking through. That's called, good morning. How funny is that? He liked to enter them and exit them. Look, so he's coming out of the paintings now. All right, well, these pages are getting all stuck together, silly. All right, and look at this. He's going to bed. His shoes are down there with feet in them. A leaf is his blanket, a cloud for his head. He's looking outside. Oh, it look, look like trunks down here. How funny. Oh, wow, and look, there's a pear with a nose. <laughs> All right, let's see what's next. He painted the impossible so that it was possible. He painted the extraordinary so, it was ordinary.
An apple can lead you to some very interesting places. And he's look, he's gone. <laughs> so these are actually paintings that Rene Marguerite made. How cool are they? Take a moment to look at them. See what you can find. How amazing and fun is that book? So in this book, we learned a lot about Rene Marguerite. This is a portrait of him. And he lived from 1898 to 1967. And Rene Marguerite, he was really known for surrealism, which is basically making the impossible possible, right? Uh, so we saw noses that were pears, and um, we had the feet coming out of slippers and the slippers being off of somebody. Uh, that's a lot of examples about what surrealism is. So I hope that that kind of makes your mind really know what that means and think about different examples, right? Think about what could be possible if you make everything possible. So I hope that you guys are staying safe and I hope that I get to see you all soon. Bye friends.